Just two days after addressing the nation at the Republican National Convention, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem was back in the state addressing a different crowd in Sioux Falls. Yeah, she was one of the featured speakers at today's deployment ceremony for the 190 South Dakota National Guard members. For the first time in weeks, we were able to talk with her one-on-one. -on -one. That you are ready to complete your mission with excellence. Governor Christy Nome spent the afternoon addressing this crowd of South Dakota National Guard members and their families as they prepare for a 10 month deployment. This was the most important part of my job. Even as she enjoyed time with these South Dakota families. I really do feel like the, the most humbling and, and honoring part of my job is being Commander in Chief of our National Guard. She's also dealing with the other pressing matter of the moment. We've always known that positive cases would go up. Uh, we've been planning on that since the very beginning. Right now, South Dakota has the highest number of active COVID-19 cases since the pandemic started. There are 2,182 cases in the state. But Governor Nome says that's not the number she's most concerned about. What we've always been focused on is the hospitalization numbers. We're seeing a little bit of an increase in those as well. But previously, for the last several weeks, they've been declining. So I think we're exactly where we thought we might be. After a slight dip in July and early August, the number of COVID-19 patients in the hospital has increased by almost 38% in just three days, now at 80 hospitalizations. It's a number Nome says the state can handle. All along it was about building capacity into our hospital systems to take care of those that should need the care if they did get sick, uh, and we're doing very well in that aspect. Nome and other state officials continue to monitor this recent spike and are preparing for the potential impact that going back to campus and back to school could bring. With kids going back to school, we're watching that very closely. We're making testing available to everyone, but especially focusing on staff and teachers that could have some health conditions that would uh, really need to be protected during this time. Now, Senator John Thune and Representative Dusty Johnson were also at today's deployment ceremony. We spoke with them and the governor about the state's $900 million in remaining CARES Act funding. We'll have that story coming up on Monday's Your Money Matters.